My name is William J. Rothwell, and I'm president of Rothwell & Associates, LLC, and we'd like to talk today about our new workforce planning assessment tool. This is video one of three. And Rothwell & Associates, LLC, pairs our expertise and innovative ideas with our clients' values and goals. So we base this whole assessment around our unique model that we call AIMED. And that is an acronym that stands for Assess Where You Are At Now, Identify Where You Want to Go in the Future in Your Organization, Manage Your Course of Direction, and Develop What You Need to Get From Here to There. So following our aimed model will ensure that your organization's performance is optimized to accelerate its overall potential with people. So this assessment tool will be accompanied by a total of three videos, including this one, that are all based on my book, Lean But Agile, Rethink Workforce Planning and Gain a True Competitive Advantage, published by Amicom and you can find that on the Amazon.com site. So, let's talk about these steps. The first one, of course, is assess. This video will focus on assessing your organization's workforce and the RNA release of the Workforce Planning Assessment Tool. In this video, we will focus on why you should assess your workforce plan. Now, remember, it's imperative to consider your current workforce and your future workforce. For one reason is, most organizations don't do comprehensive workforce planning. Actually, what they do is planning one job at a time for when a vacancy occurs, decide whether to fill it or not. So when we're talking about workforce planning, we're talking about a more comprehensive view of the match between your company and organization's strategic goals and the number and quality of people that you have. So there's some key trends that are driving this interest in workforce planning. One of those, of course, is changing demographics. The world has an aging workforce and we have a growing number of emerging economies where labor is very inexpensive. We have technology and the requirements for innovation that comes with it, and this changes the skill mix that we need in our organizations. We also have economic and financial challenges where most organizations are fighting against a dwindling profit margin. And we also have to deal with labor market issues, labor markets inside the internal labor market, or outside our organization to have a talent pool that we can draw on so that we can find the number and quality of people we need when we need them. So some of the key questions for you to consider is in assessing your company's workforce plan is will the way the work is being done need to change in the future? Will products or services be added or deleted? Will current employees have the necessary skills and competencies they need to meet the future work challenges? What types of employee skills are needed for the future? Will the workload of your existing people change? Will more or fewer employees be needed in your organization? So once you've assessed your workforce plan, you can make adjustments to your existing workforce plan, address new organizational issues that affect the plan, update the plan, and communicate that workforce plan in the organization. So this new workforce planning assessment tool that we're releasing takes a comprehensive view of your organization's workforce issues and measures the effectiveness of your organization's workforce planning efforts. And we recommend that you take a 360-degree assessment view 
of your organization's workforce plan. So we recommend that multiple individuals in your organization from different levels and different departments complete the assessment so that you get a more rounded, well-rounded, comprehensive view of your organization and its workforce planning efforts. So let me pause briefly and just clarify some terms. When I talk about workforce planning, I'm talking about a systematic process of assessing the quality and quantity of people that your organization has to get the work results you need to meet your strategic goals. The workforce plan is the result of that process. Workforce planning tools are essentially job aids to help you carry out that workforce planning process. And workforce condition is a term we use to refer to the quality and quantity of your organization's workforce. So we will launch some more videos in February and March 2014. Video number two will talk about what is strategic workforce planning. It will talk about how to differentiate work planning from workforce planning and it will talk about strategic workforce planning. It will address the importance of aligning your workforce to the organization's goals. It will give you ideas about how to develop a comprehensive picture of your organization's competencies at present and in the future. And it will examine internal and external barriers to accomplish your organization's workforce goals. Video three will focus on rethinking workforce planning. And of course here the major focus is on the book Lean But Agile Rethink Workforce Planning. The video will talk about challenges of current times like the high number of retirees current or pending and the so-called talent wars and talent shortages that many organizations are experiencing. It'll talk about innovative ways to get the work done and how to restructure organizations and redesign the workforce. The workforce planning assessment tool that we're now releasing is a comprehensive view of your organization's workforce issues and it measures the effectiveness of your organization's workforce planning efforts. So to access the workforce planning assessment tool and many other resources, please visit our website at www.rothwellandassociates.com. You can also access these videos through our LinkedIn account, our Facebook page, and our YouTube channel. Thank you very much, and we look forward to hearing more from you.